Hey there, I'm Parveen and welcome back to my channel Exploring Me. If you're less familiar, I am a data scientist by profession and I use this channel to explore different aspects of my life, both professionally and personally. This week, I thought I would take you into a week in my life as a data scientist, specifically this week since it's my last week here in my current position with TransLink, the company I work for. So I thought it would be interesting to sort of document this last week here. I think when I gave three weeks notice at this current position that I'd be moving on, I didn't realize how many closing out activities there would be. So you know that expression of when it rains, it pours, that's definitely how these last three weeks have spelt. So Today is Monday and it's a little bit of a less eventful day. I'll be taking you along with me throughout the week and this last week at work. So like every day, but especially on Mondays, I start out by laying out the tasks of the day and major events or meetings throughout the week in my bullet journal. This helps me get into gear and have a good mental picture of what my week is going to look like and prioritize tasks throughout the week. Even though this is my last week, there was definitely a lot of closing out activities that I needed to keep track of. Monday was dedicated to having a lot of meetings and wrap-up discussions. Our team was working with two different master's student groups at UBC as part of their capstone projects, actually from the same program that I graduated from and subsequently got me my job at TransLink. It was neat that my last week included this sort of full circle moment. Transitioning out of a job virtually has been a really odd concept. Honestly, something I learned from this whole work from home experience has been that it's definitely not for me. I mean, there are benefits, like no commute or working in your PJs, but honestly I miss the in-person office experiences. I may regret this train of thought in the future, but right now, I honestly miss real conversations. All right, so I'm checking in now a little bit past 4.30. I don't think I have checked in for quite some time today. It's been a pretty basic day. I mean, I've had a lot of meetings and it's been a lot of solitary work, kind of wrapping up on some dashboards that I was working on and wrapping them up in such a way that someone can sort of take them and I can hand off this work. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the greatest, doc greatest at documentation, so this is a little bit of exercising muscles that I don't flex very often, but I am going to go grab a coffee, probably from Starbucks or Tim Hortons. I haven't decided right now, the lines are always really long at Starbucks, so I'll, I'll see what's easier. And then I'll probably be working into the evening. I don't tend to do this regularly at all. I'm pretty strict on working like the seven and a half, eight hours or whatever it might be in the workday. And I usually try to tell myself that if I can't complete it in the workday, then maybe I haven't been organizing correctly. But just this last day of really trying to wrap up all of the loose ends and not having the luxury of being able to check up on something next week. It's been um, some pretty long days and I don't think today's gonna be an exception. So the next time I'll probably check in is tomorrow. Tuesday was terrible. Honestly, it sucked. I didn't end up filming any clips of my day other than this walk I took to this park nearby my house to help alleviate the headache that I have been plagued with all workday. Honestly, this week has been such a whirlwind. I feel emotional, but also stressed. I'm second guessing my decision. I'm scared to make a transition out of something I do really enjoy into something challenging and unknown. I may make a longer video on this one day, but when do you know it's time to leave your job? For me, it's when I became stagnant. If there's no room for growth, it's time to move on. You have to sometimes be a little bit uncomfortable to reach the next level. And that was the case for me. If your only reason for staying has been your team. I love some of the people that I work with. They have been some of my biggest cheerleaders and mentors. But you'll always find good people in the world. You can't hold on to a safe space just because you're scared the grass may not be greener on the other side. Finally, compensation. Money isn't everything, but it is definitely something. There are many trade-offs and considerations that go into why we accept a certain salary. Maybe it's because having a shorter commute or certain benefits is more important than a larger salary. But sometimes we need to wake up and realize you're being underpaid and seeking out fair compensation doesn't make you a sellout. Sometimes you can just be happily leaving a happy situation. At least that is the case for me. My memory is absolutely terrible, so I'm not sure the last time I left off if I've mentioned a lot of my work today is centered around documentation of my work or at least putting it in a place that will be accessible by whoever picks up my job next. So that's what I am working on throughout the day, not super exciting or anything like that. A lot of clearing out folders, streamlining some information, but now it is lunch, so I'm just about to go do that. 
So I decided to give myself a little bit of a midweek pick-me-up and get some food out for lunch today. I'm just grabbing Subway, which is not something super special, but still a little bit of something different. Getting out of the house during the middle of the day is kind of nice. So just going to be grabbing that now. The rest of my day is probably going to be pretty standard, just continuing to document some of that work that I have accumulated over the last couple of years. So I will probably check in at the end of the workday now. I'm checking in now a little bit later into the day on Wednesday. It's been a little bit of an uneventful day in that I've been sitting at my desk for most of the day, just going through various files and figuring out what could be kept, what could be you know thrown away and doesn't have any more relevance, what needs to be documented a little bit better for someone else in the future. If I had a piece of advice for anyone starting a new position or even just in their current position, do not take for granted documenting your work, especially when you're wrapping up a project, taking half of a day, even a whole day, honestly, and taking really good notes and documenting your work is so valuable. That's something I'm sort of learning now in hindsight. They do say hindsight is 2020, but there's so much work that I think is really valuable. But in the time, it felt like I was under a bit of a time crunch. So documentation was something that fell off the table, but it is so important. So if you have at least some time or I would scratch that make time for documentation it is so important I am basically dedicating two days of my last work week um, here now at TransLink to going back and documenting information and there's only so much I can do about giving you know certain notes on our files or things like that whatever it might be do not take for granted documenting work that is my piece of advice something I'm definitely learning in this last week of work but now I am going to jump on to that team meeting we usually have in the afternoons. I think the next time I will check in with you will be Thursday. Tomorrow I will be continuing with documentation, but I actually work out of two different offices. So tomorrow I'm going to be going to Gateway, which is one of the offices where I have another desktop computer. So I'm going to be going through all of that information. I might do, depending on how many people are in the office, I might do a little bit of a tour of that Gateway office. So I will see you on Thursday. Happy Thursday! Made it to the home stretch of this last week here with TransLink. Today I have a couple of different things going on that don't involve just sitting at my desk. I'm heading over to Gateway, which is one of the offices that I work out of to check on that computer to see if there's files that need to be stored in an accessible place or format. So just heading over to do that and check up on that workspace. And then later today we have a little team picnic, a socially distanced team picnic. So I'll try to take you along with me on this Thursday. So I've made it to Friday, the last official official day with TransLink. I'm checking in about halfway through the day or maybe more than halfway through the day at this point. The morning was kind of all wrap-up conversations and things like that, so nothing really interesting to report on. But now I am headed over to Sapperton, the main office. If you remember yesterday, I went to Gateway where I have a sort of remote desktop situation and I sort of cleaned out that space. But now I'm returning the desktop setup I've had the last few months at home to the office, returning all my access keys and things like that. I think this entire time it hasn't really set in that I'm leaving because I have been working from home. So it kind of feels like come Monday when I start my new position, I'll be in the same space and everything's kind of the same. But I think leaving the actual physical space of the office for a long time or basically not going to be returning to that space on a regular basis is going to kind of make it hit me that okay I'm actually officially done but I'll take you along with me now to Sapperton. I'm in the office now it's like super creepy because there's absolutely no one here just went to go get a little dolly so I can get all of my desktop stuff and transfer it back up to my desk. Leaving TransLink specifically leaving all the folks I work with and the projects I helped craft is an emotional choice to say the least. I've been so fortunate to be with the Bus Priority Programs team from the very beginning, and as the team has grown, I've appreciated their guidance, support, and encouragement. Coming into TransLink, I don't think I had ever considered transportation or municipal work, or really anything happening in the day-to-day -day city around me. The passion and curiosity of my colleagues proved so infectious that it became my own. 
besides teaching me maybe too much about how a bus schedule works, I think they taught me how to be a more aware citizen. I know we don't owe our employers anything, but I owe my colleagues so much of myself as a professional. My ethics and principles, both as a data scientist, but also as a human, have been shaped so much so in these last few years. So TransLink, it's been such a pleasure to learn and grow as a professional here. Now it's just time for the next adventure. All right, so I've put my desk back together and as you can see, it is really empty. There's like no one in the office, so it's a little bit weird transitioning out of a role when you're not in the office and like it's kind of virtually saying goodbye to everyone, but that's it. I just have a couple things here on my desk. As you can see, I kept it really minimal, so it'll be quick to pick up, but I'm just gonna pick up a couple of things from my desk. All right, so I've officially packed up and put away my access cards and all those things. I think this is officially the end of my time here at TransLink. I think I'm going to do a really slow walk back to my car and do a bit of lap of the floor. So I'll try to share some of my favorite things that I come across on the floor. And I think I'm going to head out before I get too emotional about this leaving. It's definitely a bittersweet ending. I've had a great time working here at TransLink, but I think this week, uh, this last week, and just my time here has officially come to a close. Thank you.